you guys it's me yanni jolie welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see i'm like sitting in my car because today we're doing another day in life of a nail tech and today i have like a few things to do because um i needed to get some supplies for my client that i have like literally in an hour and a half and i feel like every um day in life of a nail tech video i'm always running around and that is so bad like i need to do better but i just pulled up to this nail supply store and i've actually never been here before um but i saw it on tiktok so i was like this looks really cool and the one that's kind of another nail supply around my house like it doesn't have a lot and so i wanted to see like what this one was talking about so i'm about to go into the nail store and then i'll probably show you guys like um my clients nails that i do probably just like the application process because I don't, I don't know i don't feel like showing the prep like i feel like you guys know what that looks like um so i'll probably just show you guys the application process and then i did get some uh supplies nail supplies in the mail too so I'll probably do like a nail supply haul as well but let me hurry up and get in this store because i don't have a lot of time so I see y'all when we get in there. That's what it looks like. It's still like a lot going on. And I don't like vlogging in public, but they got a lot of stuff. They got like barbicide jars. <laughs> Let me go to the acrylics. Hold on. There's stuff for pedicures, cuticle eliminator. This is the stuff my nail school got me, and it is not good at all. I got hand sanitizer. They have a lot of stuff here, y'all. Oh, they have pedicure soaks. Something I probably need to get to. They have a lot. Oh, they got the different powders from Sierra Sky. More glam and glitz colors. Okay, you guys, I know that was like an abrupt stop from the store clip, but now I'm about to start doing my client's nails. And I only showed you guys one hand, just because the other hand was basically the same thing. Um, but first I'm starting out by putting dehydrator on her nails and then I'm gonna go in with the young nails protein bond uh, I'm gonna put in two coats and you'll see that here also I want to mention that these are c-curve tips and if you ever worked with c-curve tips then you know it's it's a lot harder well maybe not a lot harder but it's definitely harder to use than the non c-curve tips just because the sides curve downwards so much and so you really have to have control over the acrylic but this was my first time ever using them on a client and so i was struggling a little bit i'm not gonna lie but here i'm just going in about to start the acrylic application and these are actually one of the acrylic powders that i got from the store that day and this monomer that i'm using is so hard to use just because it sets really fast and so you have to basically place your bead where you want it and work really quickly or else it's gonna set but also part of the reason why it might set so fast is because well no I'm, i work in the basement and so it's a lot colder um and so the monomer usually tends to set slower when you're in a colder environment but i don't know this is the monomer from the nail supply store so i don't know what they did to it but it sets super duper fast and so that's why in these clips my application isn't the best like i'm still working and learning how to do application right but i definitely want to get better at it and i've tried using the young nails monomer but that one is entirely too runny for me especially since i'm in the basement and so every time I would place my bead down, it would just run all over the place, no matter how many times I tried to take the liquid out of my brush before applying it on the nail, like it would always run. 
and so that's why I decided to use the monomer from the nail supply store this day because this one sets a lot faster it's just like too fast so I need to find a happy medium and I just ordered the Mia Secret monomer which is what I first started out practicing with and that one always worked good for me so I'm gonna try to use that on my next few clients and see how that works out Also, I want to mention that the other hand, she got the pink color that you see in this frame as well. And then she also got gold flakes added to the middle finger and the pinky finger and the thumb. But I just didn't show that process mainly because that would have been entirely too much footage. And your girl don't got that much storage for that. So I just showed this yellow portion ap acrylic application. But I did later go in and place the gold flakes in the nail and then encapsulate it in clear. Also, on this middle finger, I wasn't as like particular with how the application was, which is probably bad, but I knew I was going to have to go in anyway with the gold flakes, so I would have just made it smooth with the clear layer application. Like you guys, do you see how fast this acrylic is setting? Like I can't even move it and I just placed the bead down. That's why I was saying it's so hard to work with this and that's why I barely dehydrate the brush when I'm using this monomer just because I need all of that liquid to try to deposit into the acrylic just so I can be able to move it around. But it's no way the acrylic should be setting this fast. Like I can barely move it. This is ridiculous.
So I did all the filing and shaping off camera, but get into this shape, okay? Yes. A little proud of myself, whatever. And of course it could be better, like the shape and everything, but I'm really happy with how it came out. And she loved them, so that's all that matters. Hey you guys, so I'm back and I just finished with my client. Um, it's like later, like it's around 8.20. Um, we started at like 5.40. So I took about two and a half hours, but she got some long nails. And like some little gold flakes and everything. Plus, I'm still starting out, so timing is still an issue for me. Yeah, so I'm about to clean up and then I'm gonna show you guys like my supply haul, what I got from the nail supply store, and what the I can't talk, and some of the stuff that I got from Amazon. Um, and yeah, but let me talk about the nail store real quick. So I actually ended up liking the one that I went to before, like the first time I went to the nail supply store, um, because it wasn't so like, it was like all Asians in there and nothing wrong with that, but they, they were just like not, they weren't very customer service friendly, you know, like they was all kind of just in there, just moving around, hustling, busting, worrying about themselves, not really like checking to see if I needed help or anything. Um, and I just felt kind of like uncomfortable in there. And their selection of acrylic powders is not the best. Like the one I went to um, around where I live, it's a lot better. So I'm about to go there next time. We just, I'm gonna clean up first and then what well, looks kind of a mess in here, you guys see. Like, so I need to clean all this up. Um, but I'm gonna clean up and then I'm going to show you guys what I got. All right, you guys. So first thing I'm gonna show you guys is what I got from the nail supply store. And literally, I just got acrylic powders because I didn't really need anything else. Well, no, I did get one more thing. Hold on. Okay. I got this glass dropper bottle for my cuticle oil since I don't want the cuticle oil touching their skin. So, you know, bacteria and all that doesn't get contaminated in here. So that's what I got this for. And then I just got some acrylic powders. These are all Glam and Glitz. Like this is mainly the kind of acrylic powders that I use um, simply cause like they're cheap, but they're still work good. Wait, that sounds bad. I promise you guys, like these are really, these are really good. But I got seven, I got, no, I got six different ones. Um, the two ounce ones and these were ten dollars each um, So yeah, I got this cocoa 
cocoa uh color hold on i feel like y'all are too high up i need to lower y'all but see it's this brown color i kind of did the swatches it's hard to tell this one another nude color what's this this is called cover tan then i got a, a glow in the dark one which it's the one ounce one this was still ten dollars but it's probably because it's glow in the dark and so it shows up this white color but in the dark it's this blue color that you see right here so i don't really know how well it works but i guess we'll see and this is called i don't know i, I covered it with the swatch and then i got this blue color which is called beachin um which is crazy because i literally made some acrylic powders and i have one that looks just like this so i'm about to start like making my own powders and just using that and then this is the yellow color i got glow up this is actually the color i used in on my client today um and then this pink color as well i used on my client and this is called skinny dip so that's what i got from the nail supply store um i need to like get some more shelving space for my acrylic powders because now i don't have any room but i need to do that so now here's what i got from amazon so i'm really excited about Ooh, child not me dropping the acrylic powders let me lower y'all because y'all seem real like high up i don't like that okay so this feels a little better um, well, you can actually see the mess now, <laughs> more of my mess, but these are just the powders that I just showed y'all in the bag that I was in, so don't mind that, y'all. And then back here is just my little nail area, which I still need to give y'all a tour of, um, because I always like looking at, like, nail desk tours and everything like that, so maybe y'all want that, too. But this is what I got from Amazon. Dang, I'm about to hang near break it. And I have, like four different packages so um yeah so i got be the mia secret monomer because i have like two other monomers but i've been like experimenting with how i work with different monomers and so far this has been the best for me i tried the young nails one and that one was really liquidy and runny for me probably because of, i work in the basement and so it's cold down here and so it takes a while for the acrylic powder to set um so that's probably what it is and then i have this acrylic look that i got from the nail supply store which that one sets like super fast and so the only happy medium that i found was this one right here so but i got the small version just because i still want to use those other monitors that i have because that's money and your girl is not about to waste it so <laughs> i'll probably just use those to practice and like get better with using it but I did get this like for when I use this on my clients. Then I just got some more top coat. Um, dang, now you guys are like really far. This is Emma Beauty top coat. It's actually the same one I use at my job. Um, and it works really well. So, and I got the the matching um, UV LED light for this um, because mine broke from Amazon that I literally got like I had only used it for like a month and it broke and I paid good money for it. Well, like I paid like $60, but even so that's a lot of money. Like when you're still trying to get stuff for your, your business. So I was upset. I was like, okay, is this why I need to invest in a good quality um, LED lamp because it'll last you long. And so, yeah, that's what I got. Oh yeah. Okay. So this right here. So this stuff is some jewelry, like it's the stuff to do the jewelry hangings, like if that makes sense, the jewelry in your nails, it's that stuff. It comes with pliers and the little rings, um, but I'm not going to open it just because like that's a lot. And then I got some nail tips. These are the Markart nail tips that like a lot of nail tips i've seen here on youtube use like sydney alexis she uses them um they're just the natural color ones and these are really good for shaping so that's why i got this and then i got a new nail brush because it was time for a new one like 
Um, mine was in such bad condition, but this is just the Panna nail brush in size 12. Oh, oh yeah, this is, so this is the last thing in the box. It's the little nail drill tools that you need to put the jewelry rings in the nails. So I'm excited to do some nail art with that. And I don't even know how to use this, so I'm gonna have to watch a video or something. And I don't know what this is. Let me see. All this is literally from Amazon. Like I ordered it this week. And I'm surprised it came so soon because a lot of it was like, it won't get here until next week and stuff. So, oh y'all, this is um all of my like, like, I can't talk. <laughs> this is stuff to do nail like jewels and everything. You can kind of see. Um, yeah, I can actually link what I got if you guys are interested. But I can't wait to use these as well. These are going to be so cute, like, with whatever nails I decide to do with all this. I'm excited, y'all. And then, oh, this is what I needed some more of, too. These are some more nail nail jewels. These aren't Swarovski. I think I'm saying it right. These aren't those kind of crystals. Um, mainly because I'm not really sure where to buy those from. But I still like to use those because they look really pretty on. Um, and they're not expensive and then i just got an exacto knife for doing like cutout designs like um what are they called v-cut french tips or like the little diagonal designs you know what i'm talking about um so that's it from that bag and then this is the last thing i got which is what i was telling you guys the matching led lamp to the top coat that i got and this is the same one that we used at my salon that I work at and so I got it y'all and I'm so excited to use it because I was so tired of using my little Sun UV one which this one it works and like it gets the job done it just takes a long time for your nails to cure like this is the one I was using this is my backup one um because like I said the other one broke and I had to pull out that one I was like I'm so upset but I finally got a new one and it's all LED lights so it has no UV lighting. So I'm excited for this. But yeah, yeah, you guys, that's it for my nail supply haul. Um, I really, like, I need to get some more acrylic powder because I don't have a lot. But the thing is, I don't know what colors to get because I don't really know what people like. So, um, yeah. But I have a lot of nail supplies and nail tools that I've accumulated since I've started doing nails. And so I kind of want to do a nail desk tour slash little nail suite tour, whatever you guys want to call it, because I work in the basement. But like I have my whole little area set up. And if you've seen some of my other Dan Life and Nail Tech videos, you've probably seen like my setup and everything. But I do want to do an in-depth tour and like organize more and get some more shelving space. So I'll probably do that soon for you guys all right you guys so that's it for this video sorry if i seem like drained or tired i've had a long day you guys like literally i've had classes all day and then um i had to run to the nail store and then i had my client but her nails came out really cute um so that's hopefully i guess i can't talk hopefully i gave you guys a little insight into what else goes on in a nail tech's life um literally so much more um, goes on. I need to disinfect my implements, actually. You can see my little barbicide jar right there. But I need to change that out so I can disinfect my implements. Um, I need to do some gel swatches, like gel paw swatches, some acrylic swatches, um, you know, practicing acrylic. So it's a lot more that I'll probably like make videos on and everything. But yeah, hopefully you guys, you know, gained a little more insight. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like, comment down below any video sessions that you have or ways I can improve my channel. Also, please hit the subscribe button. It should be like right there somewhere, like right here. So go ahead and click that subscribe button if you guys wanna see more of me. And also follow my social medias. They're in the description as well as on the screen. And yeah, thank you guys for 900 subscribers as well.
I can't wait until I get to 1K. Like, I'm so excited. I'm almost there, you guys. Um, thank you to everyone who has subscribed and who is watching my channel. And for all the support. Appreciate it so much, you guys. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all on my next one. Bye, guys.